Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the bootstrap view and how the nearby is working. The nearby is a navigation you uh, probably use in the, in the top of your page. So people it's uh, navigate very fast around your website. So that's what we're gonna speak about today. And uh, I will show how we can change the style and how we can add the uh, drop downs and yeah, everything I know about the, the top navigation I will try to to help you to understand how it's working. Before we continue, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can find it at the bottom of the of the video in the right corner, click on the thing, then you will subscribe to my channel, I'd be very happy. And don't forget all the code will be found on my GitHub profile, so you can just download all my source code I have. So I think that's it before we are starting to code some uh, some push up view. So let's go ahead and code the push step. And then we want to say navbar and that's something you always want to use when you're working with the, the navigation bar and we want to say trouble it's large and want to type i love the dark uh, the dark uh, one and uh, then we need the dark inside we will say the navbar uh, brand and the brand could be whatever, so we just say the navbar here, and then we need a link for it. And of course, you can use the image, but I will show how that's working uh, about a little bit. And then we have the the B navbar, and we say now inside that we need the nav uh, item. And just say link, link one, and the rest. And this should be disabled, and we just say disabled. So let's see about uh, that's navigation first. Now you can see we have the very first navigation, and it's filling the website. And now um, I promise you to show how it's look like if you put an image inside the brain. So let's do this. I'll just copy this one and uh, I'll use the B uh, the image tag here and say HTTPS place kitten dot com slash g slash 30 30 and uh, else kitten And here we go, let's go into the browser. And now you can see we have a little bit the uh, kitty here. Uh, normally you'll use your logo and uh, then you can do it this way. Of course you can uh, combine the, the both. So if we uh, copy this one and just say hello world and going back then we have the hello world and the logo of the hello kitty almost hello kitty it's not really so i think the next step is uh, showing you how you can uh, add the the drop down for for navigation so let's go back for the for the it's again so let's adding the the drop down and just copy this one and uh, then we want to create the drop down Let's create it after the disabled here, and uh, the only thing we need to say now, item drop down, and inside the drop down you can add the elements, and I want this text say drop down here, and be uh, drop down, item drop one, drop two, drop three, and then we have the drop down divider. Let's go in and see how it uh, look like in the browser. Now we have the drop down here and we click it up and you can see we have drop one, two and the divider and then we have the drop three. Let's go back for the for browser again, the code editor sorry again and uh, in this time, time we want to build it uh, from scratch again, uh, completely from scratch. So you can see how it uh, look like if we want to uh, build a navigation where you have the username and the password and a log on 
uh, body on it. So that's what we're gonna do now. So say B nail bar, and inside that we need to be nail bar brand, and say brand here. And Toggle label large and type dark variant dark. Inside here we need the B nail form and the B form input. We need two of those placeholder username placeholder password and then we need class and then we basically only need the body um, class not class variant outline succeeds Class two zero and then we need to log on and the type is equal to submit and then we have the navigation bar with the logon. So let's go back to the browser and see how it's working. Okay, I have an error here, I need to see what's happening. Okay, we have it here. That's my mistake. We go back and now we have a brand username password. So you can see my user into one, two, three, four, five, six. And of course, if it's a password, we should change the the type of it for password. And then you can see it's a dots. You can type anything you want. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. And the problem could be if we scale it down here, let's say inspect, and we want to go for the mobile, you can see all the navigation here, it's uh, not look so nice. So let's build one where we have built it for, for the mobile devices too, so, it, so we are uh, responsive. I think that's some of the last thing in this video. So let's uh, starting from scratch again. I uh, just copy this one and remove this one. And down below here we say B nearby and we say toggle when you have this target we want to say nearby toggle collapse and then we copy this one and we say the B collapse and we give it the ID and this nail and then we say B nearby and uh, you have the class say marking left is auto and uh, B nail item link one link two disabled and then you can see neighbor you can see we have downs here and we can pull it out and we have a link one two three and we just collapse it again if I'm going to the normal view we have it here in the link one two and uh, disabled so now because we have using the the margin the lift with auto then we push it from the brain and to the uh, to the right corner automatically so that's uh, that's how we are working and I really hope you uh, love how it's working and I really appreciate you to have you here to the ending of the movie and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget all the code will be found on the github then the link will be in the description for you and I really hope you want to like and share this video so your friends know what's uh, what's going on thank you so much and hope to see you next time bye